Well, thanks for joining me again. It's Randall Southam on the Fifth Cloud Dynamic CRM implementation team. Today, I'm going to walk through creating and measuring goals in Dynamic CRM Online 2011. And having said that, let me just jump over here to Outlook. Get out of my calendar. Uh, so in setting goals, I'll just jump over here into our CRM implementation. You'll see on my home dashboard, my landing dashboard, you'll see that uh, as a practice head, I am responsible for not only monitoring what's going on in our projects and our sales pipeline, but also how we're doing against our goals. Now setting up goals related to revenue, sales goals by salesperson, sales goals by team or business unit or division, or really sales goals by the entire organization, those are pretty straightforward to set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover today uh, a situation where we want to monitor other types of goals in the company besides just revenue related goals. So for example, we have a module in CRM called our projects module and every time we sell a new project we launch up in CRM a, a new project record related back to our customer. I want to be able to measure a goal if I know that uh, every uh, two quarters I want to bring in 25 new projects I want to set that up and measure it as a goal. So the very first thing that we have to do is we have to set up a goal metric. And then after we set up a goal metric, then we can actually go establish our goal. So let's go in that order and let's just come up into settings and come into our business settings and in business management is where we'll find the ability to set up our goal metrics. You'll see that I've already got some goal metrics here that are related to, you know, how many leads are we capturing, how much revenue are we generating and those types of things. But again, in this case, I want to be able to measure the new projects that we have coming into our company. So I'll just come up here into my ribbon and I'll create a new goal and I'm going to call this our project acquisition goal. And it's not going to be related to money as most goals usually are. This one is going to be able to count records, uh, the number of new projects that we bring in. So right there, the first thing that I want to do is I want to save my goal metric so that I can go out and make some more settings. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to define what fields are measured and roll up into this goal metric. And in our case, we want to say that it's any new project that's created. So I'm just going to come in here and come right back up to my ribbon and add a new metric. And my roll up field in this is going to be the actual count of records. The source record type is going to be against projects that are in our CRM system. And under the third, the, the actual field that we're going to monitor is the created on date. Okay, and that's really all that there is to setting up this type of a metric. I'm going to go ahead and save and close out of here. And I'll come back to my goal metric record and just go ahead and save and close out of there. And now I'll see that that's been set up. Now as we go set up a new goal for the company, you'll see where I come in and I call on this metric as a measurement tool against our particular goal. So now let me come into service and I'm going to come down to our goals. You'll see my projects module right here. And what I'm going to do is you can see that we have some revenue goals set up and we can see how we're doing against those goals and what we've got in progress. But here I'm going to create a new goal altogether. And I'm going to call this Okay, and I'll go ahead and take responsibility as the goal owner, but you can see here that I could assign this to another manager to actually administrate and, and manage the goal. And here's where I pull in my goal metric. So I'll just do a look up here, and my metric is my project acquisition. Okay, the target that we have is 25 projects for that time period, and what I have to do is I have to actually put in my time period. So right now it's only looking at quarter two, and I actually wanted to look at the first half. So I can just come in and I can change this date here to the first date of the year and come out to the last day of the half. And we'll come down and we'll just go ahead and we'll save that. And for good measure, when this uh, uh, comes back up, I can just say recalculate. It will go out and it will measure all of our new projects that have come in since the first of the year. And it will give me a reading right down here is how we're doing against that. So we've got 19 were at 76 percent of goal against the first half of the year. It's really that simple. So now I'm going to go ahead and save and close out of this. Right here from my uh, dashboard I can recalculate all of my goals to see up to the minute statistics and again I can see that we are at 76 percent of that goal. 
Now, if I want to add this to a dashboard, it's very simple to do where I can just come back, of course, to my workplace and come into my dashboards. Again, this is my home dashboard, but we can, what we can always do is just come up into the ribbon and we can create a new dashboard or, of course, you could add a chart to an existing dashboard. In this case, let me just go ahead and create a new dashboard. And we'll just go ahead and pick that kind of a format. We'll say create. Let's call this dashboard our goals dashboard. And then right in this little box right here, I'll go ahead and I'll add a chart. So I'll come into my accounts and I'll come down and I'll look at goals. And I'll look at all active goals in the system. And right here, this tells me a percentage against each one of these goals that we've achieved. I can also come down and I can change this to a target versus actuals count. So it's a count because this is, all of these are money related goals and this is a count related goal. So you can see here that this is where we should be at and this is where we're actually at. And it's just that simple to add a chart. If I just leave it at percentage achieved and say okay, I've now added that chart to my dashboard and of course I could come in here and generate many other dashboard charts as well as part of my goal of my overall goal dashboard. So again, thanks for joining me as I, we've taken a look at how we create and measure goals. Of course, if at any time you need technical support, I'd like to share with you the technical support number for the Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online Desk. And of course, if we can help you with your CRM implementation, don't hesitate to contact us at any time. Thanks and have a great day.